Today on the Brown Table, an assortment of canned fish. Uh, do eel count as fish? I think so. As you can see, I was at the grocery store, and I thought, hey, here are some interesting things we can make a video on. Today we're going to try some roasted eel, along with some of King Oscar's skinless, boneless sardines packed in olive oil. Every time I've eaten eel, I have enjoyed it. You may have heard of unagi from friends, but it is delicious and you can probably get it at any good sushi place. Now that is my only experience with eating eel. There's many other preparations for eel, but that is the only one I have experience with. So I'm looking forward to this. It will also be my first time trying sardines prepared in this particular method. I have had them fresh before. I'm curious to see how this is. We're going to start with the roasted eel. This is something I just picked up at my local supermarket. As you can guess, it was from the Asian Isle. And let's take a look at the tin. I'm assuming this brand is called Old Fisherman. It's an inviting looking tin. Let's take a quick tour of it. I have no idea what this says. And as we take a look at the other side, I still have no idea what that says. On the back, we have our ingredients and nutritional facts. I must say it's quite a nice looking tin. You don't usually see tins like this with a ripple effect on the bottom here, but I like it. It makes it stand out a bit. Ingredients are probably exactly what you'd expect. Interesting that there's some capsicum in here, or peppers as we would call it in America. I really like that, so that's good. I'm really looking forward to this. I like eel. All the eel I've had has been great. I think it's time to try this. So for that, we're going to need a plate and a fork and of course a can opener. Let's get this open. I don't know why I put it on the plate. Probably should have got it open first, but we have our can opener and we're going to get to work here. I am looking forward to this as we're almost done opening it. Let's give it one more rotation for luck. And that seems to be fully open at this point. A very fishy aroma has filled the room. Almost immediately, I would say, definitely quite fishy, but it reminds me of the smell of a canned tuna. So you've definitely smelled something like this before if you've had a can of tuna. We've got the can open now. The fishy tuna-esque smell has only increased as we prepare to take the top off, and here we go. I don't really know what I was expecting. It looks like eel in a can. Let's take a closer look at the contents here. Gotta be careful not to spill it as I do so. It looks great to me. It definitely looks appetizing. And we're gonna give this a try. Now usually I would put this on some rice or in some ramen perhaps, but we're just gonna try it straight out of the can. Let's take a closer look before I do try it. Whatever sauce is on here, it does smell amazing. So let's try it. Usually when I think of eel, as I previously mentioned, I always think of the way I've had it before, which is eel smothered in a very dark glazed sauce. And there's definitely some taste of that sauce here, but mostly I'm just getting the flavor of the eel itself. The sauce is not super strong as it is at a restaurant, and I'm assuming that's not what they're going for. It's really all about the taste of the eel here. I'm going to take another bite. I gotta say, I'm quite surprised. It's tasty for sure, but it really just reminds me of a canned tuna. It's not bad, but it's not what I thought it would taste like. I think I'm missing that intense, amazingly rich sauce that I've been describing that usually accompanies eel at sushi places. Uh, that doesn't make it bad, of course, it's just not what I was expecting. Overall, I would probably buy this again. I actually think it's great. It's not the taste profile I thought it would be, but that doesn't make it bad. Let's give it one more taste. Try and get some more descriptive words in there. So it's not very salty, very mild fishy flavor. It would probably be good as an accompaniment with some other things. It's not overpowering. You know, you've definitely opened some canned fish before and it just overwhelms you. The stench of fish overwhelms you. This is not like that at all. It's very well balanced. Overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. It's good. I would buy it again. And if you see this out there, don't be scared. Give it a shot. It's worth tasting at least once. Let's move on to our second item for today. It's time for us to try the King Oscar skinless and boneless sardines that are packed in olive oil. They are apparently the finest import according to them. So let's see if it holds up to that standard. We're gonna take a look at the outer packaging here. We have some premium quality small pilchard. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm gonna just go ahead with pilchard. It is wild caught, hand packed, and is kosher certified, which is always nice. If we take a look at the ingredients, we have sardines, olive oil, and salt. I mean, that's as pure as it gets in the realm of canned fish. 
Nothing too crazy in the nutritional facts. It's a good source for a few nutrients, for example, very high in vitamin D. And let's crack this open. Now, much like the eel, you can definitely eat this right out of the can, but I would probably eat this on a bagel and you know use it how I would use lox or perhaps on some pasta or something. So this is the inside can. There's, as you can see, it's very plain. All the marketing and images are right on the box itself. So there's really not much to see here. Let's bring our plate and fork back. They're pulling double duty today. And we're going to try and open this sardine tin without spilling oil everywhere. As we pop it open and pull the tab back, the oil immediately gushes out, as you can see. So I'm glad that I have a plate here. The problem with these pull-top cans is that they just love to splatter you if you're not careful. So we're going to be very careful here, because I do not want to get oil on our lovely brown table. As you get to the end, where the potential for creating a mess is great, just push the lid back down into the tin slightly, and wiggle it from side to side. This will loosen it a bit and help you avoid too much splatter damage. You gotta take it slow to avoid an oil spill, even though it may seem like an inevitability. Just going to keep going really slow taking this top off to avoid any spillage. We finally have the top off with minimal mess that could have been much worse. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. So the first thing I noticed straight away is that there's a lovely smell emanating from this tin. It's not very fishy at all. It's quite varied. There's definitely a fish tinge to it, but you know, it's not an overwhelming stench of fish. You can see the sardines are heavily packed in the oil, and they are, of course, boneless and skinless. So it's a good starting point if you're not a canned fish aficionado. Pun not intended. The color on this fish looks absolutely gorgeous. Lovely white with some speckled darker meat throughout, and the oil smells absolutely amazing. Very enticing. Time to try it. Now my understanding is that other variants of King Oscar are smoked, but these ones are not smoked, so I'm curious what the flavor profile will be. Alright, gonna make sure no oil drips here, and we're gonna give it a taste. Wow, an absolutely lovely flavor. Doesn't smell or taste like tuna at all like the eel did, it's its own distinct fish. The fishiness is not overpowering, it's very mild, very subtle, very delicious. The oil really adds some depth to this. You can see why they packed it on olive oil, and frankly, I feel like the water variants are probably not as flavorful. The oil really does add an excellent complexity to this. Visually, it may not be appetizing, but crikey, I highly recommend this. It's just great. It dissolves in your mouth. I know that that's a food review cliche. Wow, it melted in my mouth. But that's exactly what happened. Not overwhelmingly fishy. No real presence of bones or anything to deter you if you're a bit squeamish. Not too salty, not too bland. It's very well balanced, and I'm definitely going to enjoy this on a bagel with some pickled red onions, some capers, and some cream cheese. Perhaps a sprinkling of pepper on there as well. Would I buy this again? Definitely. This is a great lunch, a great snack. Throw it on some crackers with a little cheese, something pickled, put it in a sandwich, put it in your pasta, put it on a bagel. This is great. King Oscar's skinless and boneless sardines in olive oil are worth trying. You never know what you might like, so give it a shot. Don't be put off by its appearance, the potential for a mess. It is delicious, and it is apparently a good source of several nutrients. I recommend this. And with that being said, that's all for me today at the Brown Table. Please like and subscribe so I can pay my rent. And thank you for dining with us today at the Brown Table.